Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, the Divine Source, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. If you are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? We have the two of pentacles and the hangman. All right, we have Taurus and Pisces energy. This is the energy of somebody who they want to create this atmosphere, this ambiance, this aura of unforgettable nature about them. And they want to project it onto you. This person wants to formulate, I feel like they have been formulating a plan here on how they're, they're going to get you where they want you. That this person has been in two minds, delegating within themselves, how am I going to entrap this person within the energy of seduction, lust, and sex? I feel that engaging with this person sexually is going to sabotage your life somehow. So that's why this message is relevant. Okay, I feel like this is someone you are not meant to engage with like that at all. Let's find out here what's going on. We got the Knight of Cups. Let's find out why. Hmm. This person, we got the identity card and the seven of wands. This person, they sort of want to prove a point by doing this. That's what's going on here. This person wants to put you in that vulnerable position to prove a point. Either to, I feel like it's to other people and it's to themselves as well. All right? It goes both ways. They want to prove a point to other people and to themselves as well. It's like an individual self-fulfilling prophecy and also them feeling like they deserve to be idolized for what they're going to do here. Like a round of applause or like, damn, you got game or you did that. Damn, you got them like that. Damn, that's wild. So this person wants to come in, be all flirtatious, you know what I'm saying? Be all seductive and play temptress or, you know, if it's a man, they want to um, charm your, charm their way into your temple, into your body, into your vessel. Mm. There is something about this person's sex. 
spiritual health that is very, it's either this person, they sleep around a lot or they don't take care of themselves hygienically, you know what I'm saying? The only time they do that is when they want to do things like this. The only time they wash that ass is when they want to cause illusions and play mind games and do some dumb stuff, man. So this person wants to prove a point with you here. So be mindful. There's someone that's going to come through and act like they're attracted to you, act like they have feelings for you. They want to like, you know, like, like make you have your God down here. You know, make you like, you know, like, this is so low vibrational, man. I want to tap out of ring. So like this person specifically chose you. I saw the star, the star uh, twice here. They specifically chose you. For some reason, there's something about you, either the way you carry yourself, That's exactly it. The way you carry yourself makes this person feel like this is a task. This person has people they've told about this, people that encourage them, people that they delegate about everything and they inform them like on how to move, pardon me. So there's something about the way in which you carry yourself that this person wants to break down. Oh, I, I bet I can get her, I can get him to act this way, to do this. And they will drop their guard for me. I don't care how, you know, in character they be. When I do this, when I tweak my booty a little bit or push the, you know, wear the, like, or open my chest or something, like, this is, like, weird, man. This is, like, creepy as hell, man. Like, you weird. So this person, there's something about you with the star, or we have Aquarius energy, we have Aries energy. There's something about you that they feel like stands out, all right? And they not only see it, but it's also other people. And they feel like if they can get you in this position, it's going to take away that very same thing that stands out about you. It's gonna make you look weak or foolish or vulnerable which is exactly what they want. They want to take away the value in who you are when they do this. Yeah, we got the Father of Swords and the Page of Swords. This person, they plotting here. This is a plot, okay? This is a plot. This person, they, they plotting on, on how they're gonna come in, where they're gonna come in, when I mean they're gonna come in, and. They're in the energy of plotting against your dignity here. It's like once this per quote unquote, once this person's done with you, they feel like, man, huh, ain't nothing gonna be the same for you. Who gonna view you the same way after you didn't let up on me? Or something, man. Someone's weird. Someone's a creep and a freak. How you lay around trying to plot on another person's life, looking at another person and seeing how you're gonna devalue them because you don't like the energy that they stand in because you are weak in yourself. You are insecure, you're pathetic, you're sad and you're miserable. You lack confidence. And seeing someone confident, you wanna be like, oh, I'll, I bet if I, like, yo, you weak, like, yo, get the fuck away from me. Get away from me. This is what God wants you to do. Because someone ain't right here. It's like, it's more like I'm getting the energy of a sex tape here. Someone wants to get something on record. Like when they do this, they want to leak something. It's not just going to be word of mouth because someone is going to want to capture evidence. Like, see, I told you. Now I can get this person where I want them for real. Now this person's career is going to be hindered. This person's image, reputation, caliber, everything. Everything. Mm. People ain't right. This person's plotting. Literally. And there are people that they're talking to. Alright? People that are connected to this person that are giving this person the wrong advice here. 
People that are telling this person that this is the right thing to do. It's like God wants that as soon as this person steps into you and you give them the most cold shoulder. And not only that, you gotta chew that ass up. You think, how dare you? Yeah. Hallelujah to that ass. So God wants you to teach this person a lesson. Don't play no game with no devil energy. Because it's some devil stuff. Like, how do you want to come into another person's life and want to plot against them because you see them as confident, powerful, standing in their power? Like, that's some sick stuff. Really and honestly sick. God wants you to have your guard up, okay? Do not, I mean like, even if this person try and give you them ugly ass, googly eyes, yo, you weirdo, get away from me! Cause as soon as you let up on this person, they wanna get something on you, something that you won't be able to get yourself out of. It will ruin you, yo, it will ruin everything you're working towards. Mm. Clarify the two of pentacles. <clears throat> I'm being called to leave it there. That was the six of cups. It, it showed up reversed. Some serious stuff, man. I'm seeing like this person has this like sick, twisted way of thinking about you. Like someone, this is someone. The problem is, this is someone that hates you. They don't. There's not a bone in this person's body that has any care for you. This person is coming at you with straight plotting here. Like I wanna destroy your little reputation. Your little whatever. I want to. So this person basically. They want to be the reason that people look at you differently. And this is people that you know. Someone wants to cause you pain here. Clarify the two of pentacles. That's exactly it. Someone wants to cause you pain. Man, people are like, shit, man. We got the nine of pentacles. This person might even take it as far as like throwing themselves at you. Like, slap that hoe. Like, slap that nigga. Like, how dare you? God is saying, defend your beloved. Your reputation, your life comes on this. This person is taking this very seriously. I'm seeing pictures of you here that this person has. They look at these pictures and like they look at it with so much hate in their eyes. Like someone hates you, someone despises you, someone wants nothing good to happen for you in your life. They wanna, someone wants to be the reason that things don't ever go your way no more. Now everybody knows you as that sex tape girl, sex tape God. When you were someone that stood in dignity, leadership, moral virtue, moral compass, like this is sick. Clarify the hand, man. No, clarify the nine of cups. The problem is this person wants to come off differently. Like, they, they want to blind you. It's either they're going to have something that they're wearing or they're going to, like, want to make it difficult for you to reject them. Like, yeah, this person wants to shower you with some fake-ass love here. We've got the Knight of Cups being clarified by the Ace of Cups. 
This person wants to come in and give you an offer, a dirty offer here. And they want to bedazzle it with glitter and gold and... And they want to make you believe something that isn't true about them so that you drop your guard and you're vulnerable. It's like someone saying, yeah, I want to do some BDSM. How about, a, how about we cut? An analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example. How about I handcuff you? And then you, you handcuff. And someone is like, how about I blindfold you too? Whole time, they got, they got you on tape. They ain't even going to show in the video. It's just you looking stupid. It's just you looking vulnerable. It's just you being a fool, right? You foolish, right? This is what this person wants. Fair father hand, man. They want to take away everything that you know with this. That's what the Six of Cups is symbolic to. They want to strip you of everything that is of you and turn it around and taint it and stain it. Because the Queen of Swords clarifying the hanged man. This person is the worst nightmare for you to not fall for this. If you see past this, if you see right through them, it'll be their karma. That's why God is emphasizing that emphasis on standing in your power. You don't even need to say it again, right? You don't even need to say it again. You heard how I said it, the tone. When I said the failure, you, you heard me when I slapped, you heard me, right? So God is saying, don't let up. Because the second you let up, anything, anything that this person can find, they want to use it to ruin you. Oh, this is your little, look at what I got. This is your, you, this ha ha ha. ha like, and it's going to make them feel good doing this, man. That's man. It's going to make them feel powerful. Gotta be mindful. Not, not all that glitters is gold. If someone sends you an anonymous text message, hey, meet me, meet me here, I'm just like, hell nah. Hell nah. I don't give a damn. Hell nah. Okay. Clarify the star. You got the Ten of Pentacles here. Like, this person is going to use their whole body, their whole mind, their whole heart. Like, everything that this person has. It, it, it's like they feel like if they do this, it's also going to put them in a certain position somehow. Man, this is just weak stuff, but okay. Like, this person has a certain plot, and they, they are planning things step by step. And the first step is for you to fall for this, okay? And once that first step dies, all of the other steps will die as a domino effect. The second you drop your guard, though, they'll implement every other step necessary. But the first step is you falling for it. Don't get fooled by how someone presents themselves and their body and they, yo, I could give a fuck less. Get away from me, you weirdo. You are sick. Get away from me. And see how God protects us? He protects us through how we feel about things. Don't be led by the sides because you always lose. It's a law. It's a big one. Someone's spirit is everything about that person. Because someone can look all good on the outside and inside they're rotten as hell. They sink. I can't emphasize that enough. Someone here is not right. If you feel it, you are in this person's prison and you feel it, get away. If they say, don't you want to join up or join me or join us? I'm going with my this and that. We're gonna be like, yo, hell nah. Hell nah. just before you know it now you're on the internet or now this person sends a link to everyone close to you like it's like someone wants to embarrass you someone wants to humiliate you someone wants to make you like they b-i-t-c-h they little b-i-t-c-h 
For real though. And if this person doesn't want, if this person threatens, like this person could get as far as them threatening to destroy your life with this. Or I'll send this to your workplace. Like this is some serious stuff. You got to get the hell away from this person here. They're not, if you say, if like this is just, man, they're even willing to be like, yo, you can pay me for my silence, but it's not going to stop at that. Like imagine living like that. Now you're under someone's little blackmail spell with their little witchy ways because this is some witch activity just in the 3D form. There's some 3D witches and they're the ones that, they're the other ones, there's the other ones that are 5D that they will endow in the voodoo, black magic, and witchcraft. And they're the other ones that are 3D with it. Tim, hey, how you don't like, oh good, let's tap in here. Like this is pissing me off, like you weak for this. Like we have a bit beyond this, like you so, you so, so pathetic, bro. You so sad and you so miserable. You weak. Trying to jeopardize another person. Like you are disgustingly pathetic and sad. This person wants to get you alone. Like just even if you're in a public place with this person, they're gonna. Because the ones around them are in on it, they're gonna give them a little signal and everybody gonna dissipate and it's just you and this person and you are on camera here. Someone is going to get you on camera. Even if you kiss them or you hold them, you grip them, someone will even stretch it as much as saying that you try to rape them. Like someone ain't, you gotta get away. Hmm. Clarify, clarify here. Someone wants to make sure that they're in your, like someone wants to make sure that you are in their grip, all right? Like you panicking, now you have to do what they want you to do. I'm gonna take you to court for defamation of character if you try me, try me. Like this person here, they need you to stand your guard, beloved. Cause as soon as you let up, what they gonna do? They gonna get you on tape. They gonna, it's either you're gonna have to pay this person for their silence, imagine, pay them for their silence or accommodate them with whatever lifestyle they want. Just so they feel like, just like, this is just wild to me, man. Just so this person doesn't destroy your reputation because you were vulnerable, because you let your guard down, and because you were led by thirst. Quench it with some water and the Holy Spirit, either that some ass and titties, or that deep. Okay, tough love, tough love, y'all. You hear me though. If this, per if this person even gives you the slightest indication of sexual engagement, You know when I say run the other way? Pretend you ain't even, you're blind. You're blind. You ain't even see it. If they want to come and whatever, dance and da, da, like. Anyway, yeah, so it's good. Let them be a little jiggle when they dance up. Do not fall for this, because someone is going to ruin your reputation, humiliate you and embarrass you. Imagine this leaking to a family, like someone you love. You know, someone close to you, a, a very close friend. And it's like, now it's like, like, it's just someone, like this is People need to grow up, man. There's so much money in this world and you want to thirst trap another person for that. 
or for club or for status or for power like something ain't right and it's the factual truth who are you to want to do that to another person y'all don't ever let your god down in this earth man someone must earn your trust before you ever even give them that don't just sleep with anyone y'all in these times they will put that voodoo on your ass or they will get you on tape and ruin your life make sure you know who you laying in bed with it ain't fairy tale man you will ruin your own life stop just fucking man think God gave us a mind to think. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, the divine source. I hope you heard me. He took it to the chest. Okay. If you're keen or interested in booking me for my services, I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions via Zoom call, FaceTime, Skype, as well as WhatsApp video call. Yo, stay prayed up. Like, please stay prayed up. In these dangerous times of envy and jealousy, stay prayed up. Cover yourself. Cover you, your life, your heart, your mind, and your spirit with prayer. Okay, it keeps everything away, including the thirst trapping ass moth. Okay, goodbye.